My name is Ali Assad. I'm, I'm a British artist. I was born in Syria in 61. I mo we moved uh, with the family to the UK in 73 because my father was teaching at the American University uh, at the American University in London. And but I've always, always loved drawing and painting. And I, from from, I mean, as long as I remember, I've, I always did that. Uh, and then obviously when we came to the to, to the UK, that kind of offered me a lot more. Uh, uh, God, it offered me a lot more kind of opportunities to do art because, uh, and, and then that's why I did. I carried on. I did a foundation course at the Byam Shaw School of Art. Then after that, I went to Goldsmiths College and I did degree in fine art and uh, in painting and uh, sculpture and the art history. As an artist, I've always always used everything that was available near me or around me as sort of in terms of uh, materials and styles and things. I've never ever restricted myself to anything uh, because, I, because as an artist, I've never ever felt there was a need to, uh, to, to, to do that. Because I know some, some artists kind of, they follow a certain style and certain techniques that they've, and they've never ever used anything else but that. But for me, I kind of, I, I didn't want to restrict myself to that. Uh, to that stuff, I'm, I'm obviously I'm influenced a lot by De uh, Francis Bacon because I knew Francis Bacon for uh, he was a friend of mine for a while, and so I was he he I mean for me he's he's one of the best painters and that's why I kind of use the colors red a lot, and obviously now I use the digital technology I use photographs because of my background in cinematography, uh, so I use that and I I design everything on on the iPad after which I print everything really large and I cut it all into collages and I paint on top of them. Uh, there's, an, there's an artist called Gerhard Richter. He, uh, he, he uses similar techniques and I like his work also. And the, but the other thing, my work is always, uh, it's kind of it's a re, as, it's a response to whatever is, immediate, whatever is happening around us sort of thing. And especially now there's, there's, a, there's a richness of uh, things to kind of, you know, paint about or, so, you know, like Black Lives Matter, the refugees, uh, refugee sort of problem in from the Middle East, and obviously the war in Syria, and and then lockdown. Lockdown has been really awful for lots of people who are living by themselves. But for me, it's been, and that's why in the, during the lockdown, I worked. I did a lot of work. I think about two hundred and forty pictures in the last two years. Yeah, the inspiration, I listen a lot to the, obviously the news, I read what's going on and I talk to people, uh, either sort of, you know, friends or something, you know, and when you're exchanging information and people telling you about stuff. And the other thing is I've, I've been really lucky. I have a, like a, I have a library of almost like over 40,000 images of photographs that I've taken in the past. Often, I often go back to these images that, uh, and, I, and I use them sort of in, in my current work. I lost the images because I, I did a lot of, uh, work as a documentary filmmaker for the BBC but, uh, in my early career. So as, and we traveled a lot, we traveled in Africa, we traveled in uh, South America. So, so I used, I took a lot of stills and I go, I'm, I go back constantly to these images, uh, you know, and lockdown to kind of open up the, uh, and, I, and I use them and I, and I use them to, to kind of, to, I, I still kind of do, and they, I think they work, they work to kind of, uh, they, and they, I, I find the images, you know, they, I know they're from about 10, 12, 12 years ago, but they are, well, I use them kind of in a very, very current and modern way to, to bring them, that's, that's it really, I mean, I'm, but mostly, most of the inspiration comes from uh, what is happening in the world around us, really. Obviously, as a cinematographer, when I'm working on, on a project, uh, when, when, I'm, when I'm working on a film project, obviously it's a completely different process because I'm working with lots of people. I'm working with a director, production designer, costume designer, makeup. So you kind of you have a massive amount of uh, social interaction when you when you when you're on set or on a, or when you're on a film set or when, or when you are with the film crew. And but obviously, when you when you're working as an artist. Uh, Back in the studio, you're completely by yourself, and there's none of that. So that's it's a completely different discipline. That, but they are very similar in many ways. You are you are doing you are actually engaged in a creative process. 
but it's obviously because one of them you're completely by yourself and you rely on your instincts and your own decisions. You know, there's nobody, but you don't have to kind of refer to anybody. Uh, you don't have to work with any anybody. You don't have to get an approval or anything like that. So you kind of just completely the decisions you make. You have to, you know, you have to kind of live with them. And if they're good, they're fine. And sometimes you obviously we always, you know, not always, but sometimes we make some you know bad decisions. And if you're by yourself, it's a lot easier to kind of live with them. <laughs> Because if you uh, you know when you're on a film set and you I don't know, you, you kind of you make it or you have because a lot of people are relying on you and you have to kind of be a lot more careful about what you do and uh, but anyway um obviously I am going to carry on with uh, with with the pictures I'm never not going to stop now and uh, and obviously I have so I, I'm doing that's what I do now I, I, I shoot feature films and I've got the next film we're shooting. Which I think in about two or three weeks we start filming, and it's about James Joyce, the uh, you know the Irish author, and that's 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 the immediate future for me right now. And uh, otherwise, I will. I'm also talking to two galleries in London. They're very interested in my work, and one of them is called Beers of London. I don't know if you know about them. They they quite, and I'd be really really, I'd be very very happy if a gallery like a physical gallery picks up my work to uh, to show it at their, at their space that's that that's the dream anyway thank you yeah the, honestly i mean the images i mean sometimes it's a gut feeling and you you uh, i go back to an image that i had i had in my head and i've seen recently and i go back to it and i bring it forward to the to the to the piece i'm working on and add it to the piece and and often it's, a, it's, a, it's exactly it's a gut feeling, mm -hmm. and you you and sometimes it doesn't work. And often actually not, not sometimes often it doesn't work. You bring you think something is going to be fantastic, with within 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 a composition that you're working on. Or you bring it back, and you edit it, and you kind of you fit it in, you cut it, and and it's often of doesn't work. But but you know but when it when it does but it's purely it's gut feeling but the thing is because uh, especially like you know the the photograph you know the the paintings of of, of the of, of the black people because i've taken lots of photographs in africa and and these every single image i remember i remember where i was i remember the people who the people were and i go back to them and it's for me it's almost like going visiting it's just like a personal diary i go back to them and and they 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 work really quickly they kind of they were just like it was a natural thing to kind of go back to them and then they they were the most successful i think the the paintings you know the group of you know the the, the portraits and the and the and the figures of the uh, the african figures but otherwise it's like Honestly, it's a, it's a it's a guess. It's a gut feeling. It's there's no I don't have, I don't have, I don't have like a sort of a default method for you know for, for doing that. I just you know you, I think you have to you have to because uh, I saw I saw Francis Bacon working in his studios and he that's what he did. He had so many sort of so many like uh, magazines and books and photographs and in his studio and he would just like pick something up and use it to work from stuff like that. and. And he, I could pretty much kind of, he taught me that. He said to me, just, you know, just pick something up and work with it. And if it doesn't work, just start again. I think my work will always shift. I'm kind of I'm really bad at keeping sort of like, uh, like I said before earlier, uh, I'm, I don't. I don't follow a style. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm very impatient about, and I kind of like to keep evolving and changing stuff. I know some people they like to see an artist with a, with a definite sort of uh, vision and definite style. But for me, I was never ever important. And uh, so, but, but I am working on two things. Was what well, there's a project I'm working on. It's called. Uh, and it's based on I was I was in Israel a few years ago, and I found a piece of paper that was written by a child, and it says it says on it you can tell it was written by a child because the handwriting it says my gun is not a gun, and that kind of gave me gave me the the seed that kind of sowed the seed for uh, for a project it's called my gun, and, it's, and basically it's about the uh, there's a strip of land between Israel and Jordan, it's called no man's land. And it's completely where nobody basically goes and lives. It's completely, it's, it's, it's like a security zone. It's a buffer zone between the two countries. And for me, I'm kind of doing a piece on that. And that's, I've been working on it for about four or five years. Uh, we applied to the UK Arts Council for, uh, for funding. And so far it's, it's going okay, uh, but it does, it's a massive, it's a lot, very, very long process. And, uh, 
but I think it's going to be a really good project. Okay, with the with the empty space, honestly, to start with it, like for me, it was really odd to sort of because obviously because you know we went to galleries to see pieces of work physically or in a in a physical space, sorry. So kind of to, I mean, to start with it was like really odd. I just, I just kind of didn't understand how how it was going to how I would react to it, but obviously, but after I'd seen it, after you guys, after and I think you you did an amazing job on it. And but after I seen it, it's completely changed my mind about sort of how art can be viewed. And I think the I think viewing art online is probably is the future. I mean, because uh, because this is I mean I don't I don't think it's going to go away even after lockdown, even after COVID. I think a lot of people are going to see, you know, they they're going to see exhibitions uh, online because I've just seen the Tracy Emin show. Uh, online as well and I thought that was fantastic so I think empty space has got a massive future I, I really I hope so anyway because it's uh, and I'm, I'm 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 very grateful for it thank you